Welcome to Physics 152. This video will give you a course tour. When you open up your Physics 152 course in Blackboard, you will automatically start out on the announcements page. I will make announcements every week regarding important information and reminders and updates and feedback on grading. Along the left hand side you will see all the sections of the course that you can go to. First you will see the contacts information. In this area you can find my contact information and the distance education contact information along with um, access to the librarian and Blackboard student services. The Start Here menu is where you will start your um, your course. This contains the course orientation and a math review. When you go into the orientation this week, you will need to read it very carefully. There are 11 steps to the orientation, which includes an orientation to the course policies and procedures and a review of the math prerequisites for this course. You will have three assignments that you need to complete during the Start Here section. You will have a table tense form, which you will um, introduce yourself in. You will have a Getting Started Scavenger Hunt, which will be an online quiz, uh, making sure you understand the course policies. And you will need to do the math review in OpenStax. As stated before, there are 11 steps to this orientation. First, you watch the course tour. Download and print your syllabus. Download the class schedule of due dates. Read the expectations in all the documents. You will open and create an OpenStax Tutor account so you can do your homework. You will post to the Table Tips forum, which is a Padlet activity. You will sign up and log in to Pivot Interactives where you will do some of your forum activities and your lab activities. There's a list of college resources available. There's more information about the library services. And in step nine, there is the Getting Started Scavenger Hunt, which will be a, a quiz um, asking you specifics about the information you've covered. After you do the scavenger hunt, you need to go through the folder that has all the review, math review material in it, including chapter one in OpenStax. And then when you are ready, you will complete your first assignment, which is the math review in OpenStax Tutor. Then you will mosey on after you've completed the start here material by the due date. You will go to your course content. Course content is organized into uh, actually eight modules. You cannot see module eight right now because that is the review for the exam. But each module has a very similar structure. You'll have an introduction along with the specific objectives for the course. You have a list of the different items that you need to study and a list of the, of the items that you need to um, complete for a grade. Everything that is listed here under what to study and what to turn in for a grade is listed sequentially in the module. So you have a link to your reading. You have a link to a folder containing videos. You have a link to your first graded assignment, which is homework one. You have a link to module one. You have a link to lab one. And there is an optional module checklist. Every module including the Start Here module, has an optional module checklist. This is not required, but it's strongly suggested because it will have, allow you to verify that you have done all the things that you need to do to be successful for each of the graded assignments. You just need to give your email and check off the things that you did and submit. Do that by the due date for your module which is always located at the title of the module, and you will earn half a point of extra credit on your final exam. Every module has the exact same um, structure. 
You will also see a link to the calendar, which has uh, due dates on it, a link to my grades, a link to course resources, which contains um, all the information you need to uh, find academic support and um, technical help. And finally, the virtual classroom. This is where we will meet for office hours. We will meet here on Fridays from 10 to 11. Or you can schedule a meeting with me.